What is the relation between test cases, requirements and defects? Requirement is first phase of development. Test case are developed by taking system requirements specifications as benchmark and defects are logged after executing the test cases and there should be test case number of attached with every bug for reference. What is testing cycle and testing process? Testing cycle means STLC which includes following phases requirements, planning, environment setup, test design, test automation, test execution and defects tracking, test report and acceptance. Testing process means what process we are following that includes reviews, query logs, tools, strategies. One of the best example is VNV model. What? Tell different type of reviews, inspection and walkthrough. We review these artifacts, requirement document, design document, code, test scenario, test cases. What is the difference between alpha testing and beta testing? Both are the type of acceptance testing. Alpha testing is done by customer at developer site and beta testing is done by customer at customer site. What approach will you use if you have to test five screens of any application? We will cover these types of testing, sanity testing, functionality testing, UI testing, integration testing, system testing, load testing, stress testing, flow of the functionality and acceptance testing. When does testing starts? Testing starts at the time of requirements. Doing the review of requirement document is a type of static testing that we do at the requirement phase. When does testing ends? Testing ends when there are no bugs. In some cases, minimum number of bugs for a specified period of time after testing complete functionality and all the bugs are fixed. If you are not able to reproduce any bug, then what will you do? Or if you are not able to reproduce any one defect, then what will be the status of that defect in your defect tracking tool? You will change the defect status as not reproducible. What is version control? A version control is a combination of technologies and process for tracking and controlling changes to a project's data, source code and all the type of documentation. What is the importance of test data while testing the application? Preparing the test data is very important activity. It helps a lot while execution of test cases. If you have proper data, then there is no time wastage of time while the test case execution to look for the best data. What is traceability matrix? Traceability matrix is used to track the requirement while doing the testing and check what all requirements are covered in testing and what all are left. Please provide the examples for the following scenarios. 1. High severity and low priority. 2nd. Low severity and high priority. First case. A crash in system and a rare scenario and reproducibility of the crash is more less than 1 out of 100 times. Second case, logo of the product is wrong or the name of the company have incorrect spelling. Then this scenario will come under low severity and high priority. What is failure? Deviation from expected results to actual results is called failure. What is the main benefit of designing tests early in the life cycle? It helps in finding defects early and hence keeping the cost of the failure low. What is the purpose of exit criteria? To define when a level is complete. 
every testing life cycle should have exit criteria and exit criteria is nothing but when to stop testing at what stage you determine the exit criteria we will determine exit criteria in test planning and we will provide eta for each item what is the difference between retesting and regression testing retesting ensures the original fault has been removed regression testing looks for unexpected side effects to test a function what has to write a programmer which cause the function to be tested and passes it to test data driver what type of testing we should do first on any software to test sanity testing as it tells us that whether the software is in sane condition or not to test further what is the purpose of traceability matrix and how useful is it the purpose of traceability matrix is to track how many requirements are covered in testing as its name defines itself to trace the requirements it is very helpful because nothing can be left untested by using it